We all take antibiotics for granted. We assume that if we, our loved ones, or even our pets have an infection, that we can go to the doctors or vets for tablets to clear that infection. And in most instances, this is the case. However, increasing numbers of bacterial infections are becoming resistant to antibiotics. This means the bacteria are not affected by our drugs, and it might take longer to treat the bacterial infection. This can be a major problem for certain infections that need to be treated rapidly. It might also mean that we have to use antibiotics that have bad and long-lasting side effects. Or in some cases, the infection might be resistant to all of our antibiotics. Some studies have predicted that by 2050, more people will die from antibiotic resistant infections than any other single cause. I'm going to tell you about a piece of the puzzle that my research group is working on and how we're trying to prevent this terrible scenario. My name is Dr. Michelle Buckner, and I'm a lecturer and principal investigator in the Institute of Microbiology and Infection at the University of Birmingham. I have been researching bacteria for over 12 years, and my team is working to address antibiotic resistance. Specifically, we are trying to determine if we can stop bacteria from becoming resistant to antibiotics. How are we doing this? Well, first, I need to tell you about one of the cool tricks that bacteria have up their sleeves. It turns out that bacteria are able to pass the genetic material that can make them resistant to antibiotics between each other. Imagine a molecular bridge that forms between bacteria and these antibiotic resistance genes can pass along this bridge. Now, from a scientific perspective, that is pretty interesting. It would be like if you shook your friend's hand and at the same time pass them the gene for brown hair. But from a medical perspective, this is really problematic. It means that bacteria can gain antibiotic resistance and then pass it along to other bacteria. And often the types of resistance that can be passed are to some of our most widely used and important types of antibiotics. What's more, these bacteria often pass along multiple different types of resistance. So in one step, a bacteria can become resistant to multiple different types of antibiotics. So what can we do? Well, my team is looking at two main aspects of this problem. First, we are trying to understand these molecular bridges. We're looking into four of the five W's, where, when, why, and with whom do bacteria share their resistance genes. By understanding these fundamental questions, we can develop targeted strategies to slow this process down. Which brings me to the second branch of my team's research. Can we develop drugs that would stop bacteria from sharing their resistance genes? Imagine attaching dynamite to that molecular bridge. Or can we remove these resistance genes from individual bacteria so that they won't be able to share them around? The end goal of our research is to increase the proportion of bacteria that can be treated by antibiotics. 